Tomorrow marks a somber day in our nation, the 22nd anniversary of September 11, 2001. Thousands of lives were lost that day, including a Westlake woman who was in Tower One, and thousands escaped, including a Chagrin Falls man who knows he is lucky to be alive. This Northeast Ohio community is making sure we never forget that day, those who didn't survive and the heroes who saved so many. Laura Queso reports. Rolling. Rolling. Day is rolling. Whenever you're ready, Patty. Thank you. It's a documentary to make sure September 11th is never forgotten. It was hot, it was tight, it was smoldering, you know. I didn't think we were gonna get out of there. Created by the 9-11 Memorial and Museum, the film highlights first-person accounts of the attacks and the aftermath, with a viewing at the AMC in Rocky River. Every day when we put that uniform on, we're reminded of the attacks on September 11, 2001. And in the audience, the family of 25-year-old Christina Yook, the Westlake woman was in the North Tower of the World Trade Center when the first plane hit. Christina was an administrative assistant at Cantor Fitzgerald. She was on the 104th floor, six floors above the impact. No one on that floor survived. A day doesn't go by that I don't think about her in some way. The film is a reminder of this day 22 years ago. To me, it seems like a dream. Um, because at the time, I think it was so traumatic that I must have kind of shoved it deep down inside. And now it's all kind of coming back. Also in the audience, Chagrin Falls resident Mark McKinley, a 9-11 survivor. He lived in New Jersey at the time and made it out of Tower 2, a normal morning on the trading floor when a massive boom hit. Our trading floor immediately filled with jet fuel fumes. He and six other coworkers ran to a stairwell. It took us about a half hour to get down to the 25th floor. Uh, when we got to 25, the second plane hit our building um, and threw us around like ping pong balls and heard horrible noises of bending steel and so forth. We thought it was the end. But covered in soot and in the dark, they kept walking down the stairs. Up coming the other way was firemen dressed in full fire regalia with the air tanks on their back. As you can imagine, I, I assume most of those firemen didn't, didn't make it out that day. Mark has great appreciation for them. Not a day goes by he doesn't think of them or his three best friends whom he lost or think about how lucky he is. The embrace uh, that I had with my wife and kids was the greatest embrace I've ever had. And that was sad times. We went to a lot of funerals. Um, we lost a lot of friends. You often hear the phrase, 9-11, never forget. And for me, to be able to wake up in the morning and say, I'm alive, let's go. Let's get after it in their name. Let's make it happen in their name. Let's make it a better day in their name. That's what I have to do. Together, the survivors and those who've lost so much gather and remember. All agree, it's a story that needs to be told and one never to be forgotten. Michelle says she owes it to Christina. I just miss her so much and think about all the things she could have been a part of if she was here. But I think um, by continuing to do things to remember her, you know, that's what we can do for her now.